Florida's coronavirus case numbers seem to be declining, but infectious disease experts say it isn't happening fast enough. Tonight, the World Health Organization's suggestion to close down hotspots for five to six weeks is back in the spotlight while we search for ways to stop the spread of COVID-19. 10 Tampa Bay reporter Angelina Salcido spoke to an infectious disease expert who says while infections would drop, he doesn't know if another shutdown is the right move. The analogy is if you've got a table that's been used in a restaurant and it's dirty and it's got goo on it and you spend a lot of time cleaning it off and you finally get it all cleaned and disinfected. At some point, it's depending on how you eat, it's going to get food and stuff all over again. That's how Dr. Jay Wolfson explains what's happening in Florida. Even if we're wearing masks and social distancing, coronavirus cases continue to rise. We pushed that curve down, but we didn't sit on it long enough. And as a consequence, almost immediately when we lifted it, everybody came to the table and ate and the table got dirty and messy and we saw the spread ex just explode. So the alternative Dr. Wolfson says could stop the spread of COVID-19 is a shutdown. No movement in the state and no one traveling in for five to six weeks should bring the infection rate down to 5% or less. If you're able to close down an economy to the point where you push the curve down to say, you know, under 5% uh, of, of new cases for five or six or seven weeks, the theory is that in that geographic location, you've cleaned it. The goal is no infections at all, but the economy would have to take another hit that many can't handle. Plus, Dr. Wolfson says the downward trend isn't necessarily guaranteed. N nothing's foolproof until we have a vaccine and or treatments and or herd immunity. We don't have any of those things. Dr. Wolfson says Governor Ron DeSantis is trying to find middle ground between another shutdown and reopening the state. If infections start peaking, Dr. Wolfson says areas of the state may have to shut down.